thankfully for ten year old veterans like us we know where they are. Yeah. I can remember people coming up to me asking me where the hell the keys were. And I was like, you know, they don't they don't give you a very, very good um hint of where they are unless you go to the you know, unless you go to the alleyway where you were told to go, that's how you do it. So you get one in the back of a police car and you get one in a little mailbox which is hanging off a cliff and there's another one inside a doghouse but you need to get the note telling you that it's inside the doghouse which is kind of annoying because if you can shave time by not going to the alleyway you should be able to shave time off by not having to look at the notification telling you that it's in the doghouse exactly that was indeed a mouthful that doghouse is it's pointless I don't know why the uh, you have to look at a note first before you can do that yeah because even if you've played the game before yeah, you still have to, because he just looks at the doghouse and says, uh, well, there's nothing unusual about it. Well, the fact that it's covered in blood, it's, uh, yeah. It's supposed to be pretty unusual if it was a doghouse in Brucefield. But I digress. I like the particle effects for the snow. The fact that they actually rest on the ground instead of actually going through the ground, like in some games I've seen. You know who you are. <laughs> You're guilty. I'm looking at you. What game's that? Um, I think Siphon Filter did it. Uh, I think it did, I can't remember. There was some games that did it. Gary's mod's got a good snow feature, you can make it snow and it actually lies on the ground to like these little particles, but they melt quickly, the snow doesn't lie. It's not bad. Well, yeah, that's, that's very realistic actually. Yeah. Well, it is if you're in the UK. Yeah. Here we go. This is the note house, dog house, Levin Street. Now, in Silent Hill: Shared Memories, um, Harry is actually a resident of Silent Hill, and he lives on Levin Street. Well, he did. In Cheryl's memory, he did. But since apparently he had died 18 years ago, prior to the game, there's not a couple obviously that live in the house. So this weird memory of Harry somehow interacts with the new residents, thinking that it's still his house, but it's not. There's a if you're if you're not a fan of Silent Hill and you kind of want to get into it, I recommend it because if you play all the games and have a read through of the lore and you read the comics, you know there's so much to take in. There's a lot of theories about how things are, you know how things are the way they are and such. And you can join the forums too. Yeah, I haven't, I haven't played all the way through uh, Shattered Memories yet. I'd highly recommend it. It is, it is bloody good. Tear jerking ending though. Well, the ending I keep getting anyway. Uh, there's, I'm sure there's a UFO ending because I thought there is. Because I found, I found a there's a phone number you can call that you um and you take photos of um, UFOs. Yeah, and I found one, and the UFOs are just sitting there, floating static in midair. I saw one on the football field at Midwich High School, and it was probably no bigger than like a, a dinner plate. Like it's a pretty small UFO. I thought it'd be a massive ship, but I don't know. I think I've got in the current shot I'm playing I've got one more picture to take so I'm kind of looking out just in case I miss it because I don't want to get that same ending again you get UFO endings in, in this game as well but yeah you get you get it um, you need the channel in stone and, and thus in order to get the channel in stone you have to complete the game once at least yep and then you have to use the channel in stone in certain areas like to activate it and then Silent Hill 2 initially there wasn't a UFO ending because they because the developers thought that it kind of adding humor to it kind of spoils it, whereas I thought it was quite a, I thought it was quite a welcoming idea, so they it took it out. Idea. They took it out of Silent Hill 2. They didn't have it in the original Silent Hill 2, but then they ported it to the Xbox as uh, Restless Dreams, I think, and they added it in there as long as sev along with several other extras. And then you know the PS2 owners got a bit pissed off. It's like, come on, it's it started off on PlayStation. Let's keep it. You know, why don't we get it? Yeah, so, uh, so when it went platinum, the director's cut was released. Yeah. Containing everything. Yeah, so if you try to look for a platinum copy of Silent Hill 2, you, it will not be the same as the original that came out. It is always going to be the director's cut. But better getting the director's cut than the original. Yeah. For the extra content. Next, for the sake of extra content, but Silent Hill 2, the original copy, comes in a nice box. You get a lovely sticker thing of it. You get the making of DV and all that. Oh, uh, yeah. I remember when you opened yours in 2002. You got, uh, what was it? A bobblehead nurse, in fact. A, a new one. I don't know what I've got. I'll check. I think it's a welcome back sign. Oh, this is gorgeous. 
I've got um, a nurse sticker in my. I have. I have welcome back. Welcome back to Silent Hill. Yeah. Of course, welcome back B enough to just finish in the first game. Yep. New game, new protagonist. I hate the fact that my box is a bit scuffed. I did that myself accidentally. Still in good condition. Oh yeah, I love this game. There's a bit of frame rate issues in the bus though. Yeah, there always is. But it's like that in the original PlayStation 1 as well. Yeah, it is, I noticed. And there's a couple of glitches like the the fog at night and stuff in, in this emulator. Yeah, the emulator doesn't really process fog that well for these kind of games, but it doesn't really matter, it's not too much of a big deal. Okay, now we are at the school. Just uh, retrieved a map. I just checked that the ammo's full. Forgot about this. <laughs> Slow the, Yeah, the inventory screen's a big slowdown, which is weird. Because it usually speeds up at that point, doesn't it? Yeah, because maybe it's because it like loads it on top of th like the three D graphics and stuff. That's possible. There's Harry's magic white nipple. Emulator glitches, of course. Everything's perfect on the original PlayStation One, Two, and Three. Naturally. Although PlayStation Three, there's an annoying buzzing sound when um, you have to fight that caterpillar boss and the boss on top of the post office. Oh, the oh the Mothra. Yeah. Yeah. Whenever you fire a gun, it's a constant buzzing sound. You'd expect them to release like a patch to fix that, because they did that for you know the Xbox originals, even though like half the fucking yeah. patches didn't work. In which case, it would be an update to the firmware mm. in the emulator, but they haven't touched it since uh, 2.41 yeah. for the PS3. I can tell immediately this. This let's play is going to take a more serious intellectual tone than the Mario World one was, because all it was was just me swearing every five minutes. <laughs> Except in this one's like, oh theory, 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 theory. I did this theory. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Those things have nipples and tits. There we go. There we go. That'll, that'll, that'll spruce it up a bit. Yeah. That'll get people watching it. The tit-coloured fish-looking thing with an eye. See, in the UK version, I prefer the ones we got because they had, um... Vaginal faces. Well, no, that's because they actually used their own appendages to attack you. These are just little men with knives. They're, you know... Yeah. They're not, yeah. they're not, they're not, well, to me, they're not scary. They're just your typical cheap V-movie, um, apparitions. Whereas the, the lurkers with the long claws and the distorted faces, they're, they're definitely more worthy of being... Scary monsters. I mean, it doesn't have eyes. How does it see you? You know, it's that's true. And it's 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 claws. It's like its long fingers are, are the knives. Yeah. I don't remember that one being in there last time we played it. What's going on? Or did you go, or did you go into the bathroom? Isn't this the bathroom where the girl cries? Or is that next door? Uh, I think that's on the level up. Nothing in that room. Yep. And those classroom doors don't open. Yeah, that's that's the funny thing about this game. Maybe it's a way to save space on the disc by not adding extra rooms, but coincidentally just about every door in Silent Hill is inaccessible because it's locked or the doorknob seems to be broken. There's an awful lot of broken doorknobs here. I mean, I know it's an old town, but... I'm sure they maintain it at least. I'm sure doorknobs outlive most people. But who knows? Yeah. It could be also psychological, the uh, thought of um, the monsters breaking the doorknobs off. That's true. But they don't seem intelligent enough to even do that. They just wander around at random, just hitting stuff. They could have randomly hit a doorknob. I suppose, yeah. 